Uh, well, we uh, we want to teach some football, um, you know, some basic skills, uh, different positions. I mean, I'll be teaching uh, line, offensive line, and some defensive line, and we've got some other coaches to teach the other positions as well. But uh, we're also here um, as a part of FCA Fellowship of Christian Athletes to uh, to tell these kids uh, about the love of Jesus Christ, and that's that's what I'm passionate about. That's why I'm here. Uh, Jesus has changed my life, and I want to tell uh, these kids that, that He can change theirs as well. I'm, I'm very excited. Um, you know, I. I know that uh, football is, is the most popular sport in America, but I, I didn't realize how popular it was here in Mexico. Hey, and it's uh, great to see that there's a lot of kids that the sport. I think it's a great sport to see the um, You know, it was a tough season for us. We were close there for a while. Um, we got a young team, but I think uh, the Jaguars are getting a lot better, and I think next year uh, should be a very good year for the Jaguars. I think it's a really bright future. Um, you know, having Bortles is huge. Having a quarterback that I think he's going to be a, a great one in the NFL is, uh, is a really important first step. But there's a lot of talent around him. Uh, like you mentioned, a wide receiver with Allen Robinson and uh, running back TJ Yeldon, a lot of weapons on offense. And uh, I really think that the building blocks are there to have a very good team in the future. Yeah, absolutely. That will uh, that will be the goal next year. Absolutely, it will be for the, for the Jaguars to make the playoffs. And I think it's possible. Yeah, I uh, I mean I don't have a, a favorite out of those two teams. You know, I'll just be rooting for a good game. Um, you know, it might be one of Peyton Manning's last games. That would be cool to see him go out with a win. But you know, I, I like Cam Newton. Cam I like the way he plays the game. A lot of energy, a lot of passion, and he's a great player. I, I mean, he, I think he's one of the best quarterbacks of all time. You know, he's been. He's been one of the best for, what, 15, 16, 17 years or so now, and he's already got a Super Bowl. If he got another one, that'd be great, but he's one of the all-time record holders in every game. Just the way he, he kind of changed the game, you know, the way he changes plays at the line of scrimmage. He's really a coach on the field. I really I have a lot of respect for him. <laughs> I don't know how you pick. Um, I don't know how you pick. I've, I've always respected Tom Brady as well. And uh, I played against Peyton a lot. When I was a Raider, he was a Bronco, so he beat me six times. So I, I kind of didn't like that. So, you know, because of that, I might pick Tom Brady. But uh, I, I definitely have a lot of respect for him. La realidad es fomentar primero el deporte y lógicamente aprovechar la experiencia la oportunidad que tenemos a contar con un jugador profesional que actualmente está participando con los jaguares de Jackson es fomentar el deporte, al fin y al cabo la, el primer objetivo y que conozca más porque el fútbol americano todavía carece de, de alguna discusión que creo que todavía que se poco a poco. Mira, el, el contacto directo es con la organización FCA, el Objetivo Christian Athletes, que es eh, la, una organización que está, a la cual pertenecen muchos atletas a nivel internacional y Stephen Nesky, que es el jugador que, que, que llega, pertenece a esa organización y lógicamente pues, a establecer comunicación con ellos se le ofreció una oportunidad acá y un espacio y ellos pues se afán de contribuir con el bien a la comunidad, a la gente, dar a conocer todo lo que su organización maneja, pues digo que adelante, ¿no? Entonces pues contamos con la visita de él, viene su papá también, Lío que jugó también con Raiders de Oakland hace muchos años, entonces contamos con ellos dos y aparte más entrenadores y, y jugadores de, de allá de Estados Unidos.